and welcome back or welcome for the first time to Laurie Fay Art. If you are new here or if you've been here before you have probably noticed that my channel is now filled with World Watercolour Month videos and that is because I've been doing 31 videos for the month of July and we are at number 18. Whew. And the prop for this one was soft. I just went with the palette that I had already put out for the ice cave that I did yesterday and went ahead and did a little kitty cat. He's very loose. I did a very, very rough sketch. Just put a few lines in as markers and then I just went for it with the with the light and dark and just tried to give him as much white area as possible to give that fluffy look. I think he turned out pretty good considering. I must admit I am using quite cheap paints. They are for the most part just Montmartre and another brand that I can't remember but I'll put in the description below. The paper that I've been using is just Franchville paper. I had a big pad of A3 and I've cut it up into smaller pieces to use for this. I do intend on getting some better paper but obviously I don't have a million dollars to spend. If you've got some ideas on what paper that you think might be suitable for my style of painting please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear some feedback about that. Also paints. I have been using, believe it or not, just Montmartre Mart paints and I've noticed that they have began to smell quite yucky. They're, I think they're starting to go off. They were my daughter's before she moved um, overseas and she just gave me uh, all her art supplies and I'm not saying the Montmart ones are bad. I'm just looking to get a more of a professional set so that I can compare the difference and see if it does make any difference to how I paint. Uh, I know that for light fastness and longevity you are better off to use the better quality paints and that's another reason why I'd like to use better quality. I don't actually do any commission work um, in watercolour for that reason because obviously you want to be able to give a guarantee that it's not going to fade over time and to be honest I can't do that with Montmartre because they're not a really high grade paint. I do enjoy them but the smell I don't know I've had one the, the yellow ochre did it first and then now another one has started to do it I think it was a blue I'm not really sure it smells almost like a sewerage smell it's really weird I don't know I mean I'm still using them and once you once the paints dry if you smell the paper the paint that smell is gone so I am a little bit Hmm. Anyway, if anybody's got any thoughts, queries, or what, if it's happened to you, let me know in the comments below because, yeah, it's maybe it's something that's common with paint with watercolor. I don't know. Any feedback is great feedback. I would love to hear from you in the comments, and I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. Stay safe out there. It's a crazy world, and I'll see you tomorrow.